Hello, welcome to this next lecture on uh, acoustics. Uh, today I will start by showing you why we use the complex notation. If we straight away take the uh, real value, it can become very cumbersome. So, I will show you that calculation. So, let us begin. <coughs> we have this uh, solution. given by y tilde x comma t is equal to a tilde e to the power of j omega t minus k x plus b tilde e to the power of j omega t plus k x. We are still solving the same problem a finite fixed forced st string now these are supposed to be complex uh, these are likely to be complex ok. So, I will take a tilde to be of the form a plus j times b and I will take b tilde to be of the form c plus j d ok. So, now what I have is y tilde of x comma t is equal to a plus j b into cos omega t minus k x plus j sin omega t minus k x plus C plus J D cos omega T plus K X plus J sin omega T plus K X and we said we will take the real. So, we will take the real on this side and we will take the real on this side. If we do that in the first term this gives me real and this gives me real this product gives me real in the second term this gives me this product gives me real and this product gives me real. So, we get the real value y x comma t is equal to a cos omega t minus k x minus b sin omega t minus k x plus c cos omega t plus k x minus d sin omega t plus k x ok. So, what this also means that uh, you have to start here, you have to start with this expression. if you are doing all calculations in real you start with real if starting with real else you would not capture the entire uh, solution. Now, let us see we have to use the boundary conditions ok. 
So, at x equal to 0, we have f cos omega t. Okay. So, now because we are taking real, we are assuming that this forcing is now cos omega t. Okay. So, f cos omega t plus t del y by del x equal to 0. Okay, so and at x equal to zero, yeah. So at x equal to zero. So now what do we get? We get f cos omega t plus this t and del del x of this term gives me a sign with a minus. Okay. So, it goes, gives, let me just do it first with the x then we will put x to 0. So, I get uh, a times sin omega t minus k x into a minus 1 then a minus k minus b cos omega t minus k x into a minus k minus a c sin omega t plus k x into a k minus a d cos omega t plus k x into a k. Okay. This evaluated at z x equal to 0, that is equal to 0. Okay. If we do that, f cos omega t, then uh, this x is 0 here, x is 0 here, x is 0 here, x is 0 here. So, we get plus k plus t a k sin omega t then I get plus t b k cos omega t then I get minus t c k sin omega t and then uh, minus T d k cos omega t that is equal to 0. Now, we will consider coefficients of cosine omega t separately and sin omega t separately because okay. they are orthogonal over an infinite period of time. Okay. There is no limit to time. So, we will take cos omega t as separate and sin omega t as separate. So, we will consider their coefficients. So, I have f then here plus t b k minus t d k minus t d k okay. that is equal to 0 separately okay. and with sin I have T A K minus T C K is equal to 0. So, here I get F by T K plus B is equal to D I get from here and from here I get A is equal to C. Okay, let me just mark these as my results. Okay. So, now that implies that implies that y of x comma t if I use these bits of information I get because a and c are equal I get a cos omega t minus k x and here plus a 
cos omega t plus k x. This used to be C before. Then I have a minus uh, B sin omega t minus k x and I now bring in here minus f by t k plus b sin omega t plus k x ok that is my y. Now, we will open it out. So, y x comma t is equal to a into cos omega t cos k x plus sin omega t sin k x uh, plus a cos omega t cos k x minus sin omega t sin k x minus a b sin omega t cos k x minus cos omega t sin k x minus f over t k plus b sin omega t cos k x plus cos omega t sin k x. Now, here this cancels out, this goes, this goes, um, and a certain term here also this goes, this goes with one term here, this and this. Okay. So, we will see what the net result is here, the net result is twice a cos omega t cos k x these two it's over then I have uh, this term doubles up with this term minus 2 b sin omega, omega t cos k x. So, this is also over and this is over. Then I have this term along with the entire term. So, I will keep it as uh, minus f by t k uh, sin um, omega t plus k x. Okay. Now, we have to impose the second boundary condition. So, let me see here. Okay. So, that is the term we have. Now, if we impose, okay, this is y. Okay. So, if we impose y x comma t at x equal to l is equal to 0. Okay. So, what we have that implies that twice a cos omega t cos k l minus twice b sin omega t cos k l minus f by t k sin omega t cos k l plus cos of omega t sin k l equal to 0. Again we will take co coefficient of cos omega t separately and the coefficient of sin omega t separately. If we do that cos omega t this term has 
and this term has. So, what I have is twice sorry. twice a cos k l minus f by t k sin k l is equal to 0 ok. And therefore, this coefficient is equal to 0 which implies a is equal to f by 2 t k sin k l by cos k l. The second set of terms come from sin omega t. So, this has sin omega t and this has sin omega t both have a minus sign. So, I get minus 2 b cos k l minus f by t k cos k l equal to 0 which implies that b is equal to minus f by 2 t k. Okay. So, now we have some extra information about this A here from here and some extra information about B from here. Okay. So, if we bring that information in, if we bring that information in then y x comma t is equal to f by t k sin k l by cos k l cos omega t cos k x plus f by t k sin omega t cos k x minus f by t k sin omega t cos k x minus f by t k cos omega t sin k x. So, now we have um, f by t k cos omega t f by t k cos omega t. So, let us look at that. So, we have f by t k cos omega t into sin k l by cos k l into cos k x minus sin k x and this term cancels, this term cancels with this term. Okay. So, then if I multiply this up what I get? I get f by t k sin k l cos k x minus cos k k l sin k x by cos k l into cos omega t and so we have seen this expression before ok. That is equal to y x comma t is equal to f by t k sin k l minus x by cos k l cos omega t. This is what we got before using the exponential notation and this was replaced by h by j omega t. So, you can see that we get the same answer, same answer. 
however, you see how cumbersome this is okay. and that is why we use the complex notation. Okay. So, now the, the next topic here is uh, what if we have a general impedance. Okay. What that means is I have a finite forced string okay, with a general impedance, a general mechanical impedance. at x equal to L. Okay. So, what I have is a string, I have a string, I have some general impedance at the end x equal to L and x equal to 0, I still have my force. Okay. So, if the objective is multifold, one is that if we derive it for a general impedance z tilde m l, then we, we have the solution for any boundary condition, we do not have to derive it again and again. Okay. If we want to fix this, we will make z m l infinite. If you want to make it free, we make z m l 0, if you want to put a mass, we will make it j m omega etcetera, we can do. Okay. If you find the solution to a general or an expression for a general. The other is that with a general impedance condition at the end, I would also like to know what is the impedance seen from the force. Okay. I would like to know that. That means, I have a finite length string, some, some general boundary condition at the other end and how does the impedance look like from the forcing location in terms of z m l and other string properties. Okay. So, now first thing is that we have to uh, know how to impose the end condition. At x equal to 0, the forcing condition is same okay. f tilde plus t del y tilde by del x is equal to 0 is the same as usual. Okay. And of course, my y tilde is the sum of a tilde e to the power the phasor plus b tilde the left left going phasor. Okay. Now, what is the boundary condition at x equal to L? Okay. Obviously, the boundary condition is the force T del y tilde y del x is the force x equal to L and it must be impedance times the velocity okay force is equal to what do we have force by b tilde is equal to the impedance right and so this is the force and this is the impedance and that is the velocity okay force is equal to impedance into velocity okay now, the question is what is the sign? What is the sign over here and how do we assign the sign? Okay. So, this can get a bit tricky. So, what we I have a means of uh, showing you take all entities as positive, take all quantities, all quantities positive. That means, T you take positive, 
which anyway it is ok, it is so T is tension ok. Then you have del y tilde by del x at x equal to L take it positive ok. So, how do you do that? I have an impedance over here general impedance then tension is there and del y del x I take positive. So, this is my string this is a situation at x equal to L that is my end impedance ok and this angle which is del y by del x del y tilde by del x at x equal to L is positive ok. Now, this is the starting point this is step 1 take all positive ok. Then you have a picture the second step is this you have a picture related to that ok that is the second stage. Now, using the picture using the picture respect the coordinate system. So, far we have not taken any notice of which way y is positive or so right y is positive upwards and x is positive this way. So, using this picture that you have drawn ok what I say is respect the coordinate system or take note of the coordinate system that means coordinate system directions positive versus negative. Now, if you have a situation like this where you have a, a, a end condition something attached at the end and the string has this direction del y del x is positive the force on this end is downward T del y tilde by del x will be acting downward because T is acting in this direction ok. So, now you give regard to the coordinate direction ok because this is negative you bring in a negative ok. So, I wrote last uh, on the previous page over here I wrote this condition and said that all terms are the same except for a doubt on the sign over here ok. So, now we are going to fix the sign the sign is minus T del y tilde by del x is equal to the impedance at the end into del y tilde by del t ok. This is the boundary condition at x equal to L ok. So, now we can begin to solve this problem. So, I have two conditions first of all my solution is this a tilde e to the power of j omega t minus k x plus b tilde e to the power of j omega t plus k x ok. And the two conditions the condition at x equal to 0 is uh, f tilde plus t del y y del x at x equal to 0 is 0 ok. So, which gives me I will write it straight away now f capital F plus minus j k a tilde plus j k b tilde we have seen this enough number of times so I am straight away writing it is equal to 0 ok this is 1 let us say 
then at x equal to L x equal to L what I have is minus T del y tilde by del x is equal to the impedance at the end del y tilde by del T x equal to L x equal to L. Okay. So, if we now open out the second term in terms of this expression, what do we have minus T del y del x at x equal to L okay, that gives me a minus j k a tilde e to the power of minus j k L. I will keep the time term outside then derivative here plus j k b tilde e to the power of j k L in the time term here j omega t that is the left side left side and that is equal to the impedance at the end into the velocity. So, I will bring in j omega the velocity. So, j omega y tilde velocity is j omega y tilde okay, that is the idea. So, j omega times y a tilde e to the power of minus j k L plus b tilde e to the power of j k L e to the power of j omega t. Okay. So, we will remove e to the power j omega t, it is common over here. Okay. Then what we have is we bring uh, let us say j k t outside j k t a tilde e to the power of minus j k L plus sorry minus b tilde e to the power of j k L is equal to j omega z m L tilde a tilde e to the power of minus j k L plus b tilde e to the power of j k L. So, we remove the j from both sides okay. then k is uh, uh, omega by c. So, let us see k, we have k t over here which is omega by c into rho l c square okay. and then I have on this side an omega into z tilde m l. So, I will take this omega and that omega out, take this c and one of the c's out. Okay. So, what I now have is this divided by this is equal to z m l by rho l c. Okay. So, I have a tilde e to the power of minus j k l minus b tilde e to the power j k l by a tilde e to the power of minus j k l plus b tilde e to the power j k l is equal to z m l by rho l c. Okay. Uh, so, I am out of time today. So, I will stop the lecture here. Uh, in the next class, we will continue from here okay, and find the answer. Thank you.